Hello, welcome to today's class. Let's look at this math challenge together and see if it can be solved or not. So we take our solution here. Solution. Look at the question. The question is bracket open x plus one, close bracket all raised to power four, plus bracket open x plus two, close bracket raised to power four equal to 17. What then is the value of x? Okay, that will satisfy this challenge. Now, what we do here is just to expand this according to this power, also expand this according to this power. So we can use the binomial theorem, right? But um, this is very easy. So let's bring out the coefficient from Pascal diagram. So we have here, uh, for power of zero, we have one. For power of two, we have one, one. That of um, three, we're going to have one. Add these two to give us two. Then here we have one. Then that of, um, of four, we're going to have um, uh, one. Then here we give us three. Here we give us another three. Here we have uh, four. Sorry, one, right? Okay. Uh, sorry, this is power of zero, power of uh, one, power of two, power of three. So the power of four will give us here four. Add this, we give us six. Add this, we give us four. And here we have one. So we're looking at this power here, okay? So let's use this to expand it. So expanding this, we give us here. So we're going to have here x to the power of four. And meanwhile, this will be to the power of zero. So this will now give us blocks. The next coefficient is 4, so we have here 4x, the power will reduce to 3, then what do we have here? We have 1, 1 will not be to the power of 1, which is still going to give us 1, times this will still give us this, so plus, what is the next term? We have here 6, so we're going to have here 6x, or to the power of what? 2, then 1 will not be to the power of what? 2. Right? So 1 to the power of 2 will still give us 1. So we have here plus the next constant, so the coefficient is what? 4. This might be x to the power of 1. And this will give us 1 to the power of what? And um, uh, uh, 3, right? Yeah, so 1 to the power of 3 will still give us 1. Then plus, yeah, will now give us, now we have here to be 1. So x is not to the power of 0 which will give us one. And here we're going to have one to the power of four, which is still one. So here will give us one, right? Then let's put our plus sign plus, so the first constant term is one, which is x to the power of four. Mind you, our two will be to the power of zero, which is one. Then the next one will have four as our constant term. So we have here four, then into our x will be to the power of three times Two will now be to the power of one, which is what? Two, right? Close bracket, then plus, the next one is six. So we have six bracket, our x will now be to the power of um, two, and our two will now be to the power of two. So two to the power of two will give us four. So yeah, we're going to have times four, close bracket, then plus, the next one is what? Four. So we have here, let's continue on this side, four, again, then into our x will now be just to the power of one times, our two will now be to the power of three, and two to the power of three will give us eight, close bracket, plus, now the next step is one, and our x will be to the power of zero, which is one, meanwhile two will now be to the power of four, and that will give us 16. So every t here will now be equal to 17. So let's go ahead and add up everything. But before that, let's open up this bracket we have here. So this now implies that our x to the power of four, which is this, plus our four x to the power of three, plus six x to the power of two. Uh, sorry, this two, the power of two, there plus our four x plus one, plus, um, here we have our x to the power of four, plus, yeah, this time this will give us 8x to the power of 3 plus 6 times 4 will give us 24. So we have 24x to the power of 2 plus then 4 times 8 will give us 32. So we have 32x plus and here we have 16. So every TA equal to 17. Easy. All right. So can I add this to this, this to this, this to this, and this to this? So 
If we do that, this is going to give us here x to the power of, so we have two x to the power of four, right? Then plus this plus this, this will give us 12 x to the power of three plus six x squared plus 24 as that will give us 30 x to the power of two plus four x plus um, 32 x will give us 36 x plus your one plus 16 will give us 17 equal to 17. All right, so we can move this to this side. And so this, this will leave the system. Now we have two common to everything here because we're going to have this equal to zero. So let's express this out first. 2x to the power of 4 plus 12x to the power of 3 plus 30x to the power of 2 plus 36x equal to 0. So now look at this. 2 is common to everything here. So we can factorize 2 out here. Okay? So we divide this by 2, divide this by 2, divide this by 2, divide this by 2. Okay, we call it divide this by 2. So let's continue on this side of the bird and see what this gives us. All right, so if you divide out here, we're going to have your x to the power of 4, then plus our 6x to the power of 3, plus um, you're going to have 15 x to the power of 2, then plus you're going to have um, 1, 8, which is 18, x is equal to 0. So what do we do at this point? X is common to both sides. So let's factor X out. So we are left with X to the power of 3 plus 6X to the power of 2 plus 15X then plus 18 equal to 0. So if we apply the zero product rule, we equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So we have our X is equal to 0. Is the first answer to this equation. So we now solve this other part now. So we have x to the power of 3 plus 6x to the power of 2 plus 15x plus 18 equal to 0. So what do we do here? We use the trial by error method to get the first root to this. And if we plug in 1, 2, plus 1, minus 1, or plus 2, minus 2, we're not satisfied the equation. But if we plug in minus 3 into this expression, it will give us the 0. Okay, so x plus our 3 is a factor. So if x plus 3 is a factor of the above polynomial, okay, so what do we do? We use our long division method to get the quadratic equation that will lead us to the other two roots. So let's use the division method, yeah. So here we have our dividend, x to the power of 3 plus 6 x squared plus 15 x plus 18, right? All right, then our divisor is x plus 3. We use this to divide this. This will give us x to the power of 2. And so we use this to multiply this group to give us x to the power of 3 plus this time this will give us 3 x squared. We rule off and then we subtract. This, this will leave. So if we subtract this from this, it will give us 3x squared. We bring this down, so it will give us here 15x, right? We use this to divide this. This will give us plus our 3x. So let's use this to multiply this. This will give us 3x squared there plus. We use this to multiply this. This will give us 9x. We rule off again and we subtract. Again, this, this will leave the system. Then this minus this, this will give us um, um, 6, right? So we have 6x. Bring the last term out here. So we have here plus 18. So what we do, we use this to divide this. This will give us plus 6. This time this will give us 6x plus. Then this times this will give us 18. All right? So from here, if we subtract again, this, 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 we give us zero, zero. So at the point where we have our zero, zero, we take this now. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us again. So we have our x plus three, bracket, bracket, um, x squared plus three x plus six, everything equal to zero. So let's take this quadratic equation. So how do we solve this? So we use our um, um, quadratic formula, right? 
can we get uh, can we use the factorization method this may give us some tough time so let's use the uh, quadratic formula so we have our x squared plus 3x plus 6 equal to 0 so using the formula this is minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 a c everything all over 2 a so our a is equal to um one the b is equal to three and c is equal to six so let's go ahead and substitute this we now give us minus three plus uh, minus r to our three squared minus four times one times six everything all over two times one so let's bring out our value here so we have this plus x equal so we have nine minus this time this will give us 24 right everything all over two okay so again let's continue on this side we're going to have our x is equal to minus three plus minus the square root of if we subtract this from this this will give us minus 15 so we have minus 15 all over 2. So I want to bring iota here because minus 15 could be written as minus 1 times 15. And we know that our um, uh, the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota, right? So we can rewrite this as our x equal to minus 3 plus minus the square root of 15 iota all over 2. So we have x1, s2 and x3 from here now. So let's go ahead and bring out all the roots. So our x1 is equal to 0. And our x2 is equal to minus 3. Then our x3, this is equal to minus 3 plus the square root of um, 15 iota all over our 2. And our x4 is equal to minus 3 minus the square root of 15 iota all over 2. Okay, so these are the four roots that we satisfy this original equation. Okay, so this marks the end to this nice exponential challenge. If you learn something from this video tutorial, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. You have a better way or a shorter way of solving this, drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Remember, Jigs loves you. All of us at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye. For now.